What is up, everyone? It is Psycho Blue, conductor of the Hype Train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag cross wires, and for the first time ever, Street Fighter VI. We are here at The King Returns 3 at the Castleburg Brewery in Richmond, freaking Virginia. It is time to get the first of what we hope to be many Street Fighter VI monthlies underway. Everyone, I hope you are enjoying yourself whenever you may be watching this, whether it be here on stream or later on on YouTube. But we are about to give you a slobber knocker. First up is going to be Kami Rojan and Human Error. You may recognize Kami Rojan's name from the commentary for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and the top eight that you just watched from Combo Breaker if you are going to be watching this on MYC Furby or on my YouTube Psycho Blue SFXT. So without further ado, let us get started. We are going to begin now. Are you, you don't know what to do? You'll want fighting ground, by the way. That's the, yeah. Grown bigger than just cross tech it. It's hard to believe, but here we are. Man, you came a long way. And all it takes is one game that you love to do what you want to do. And I've been doing it. Thank you for be thank you for being part of my journey, Jeffrey. I appreciate you. No problem, man. No problem. Alright, I'm gonna get started. My dad loves how Honda looks in this game because he said it looks like he has to use the bathroom. And being Honda's stage is a bathroom. He won't have far to go in case he's got to do his business. We are good. Are you playing um, Honda or him? Got it. She's such a cutie. She, 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 uh, she lifts my spirit. She always seems so happy, even when dealing with horrible tragedy. Put a smile on your face and make the world a better place. What you gonna do, say what you gonna do. Alrighty, we're about to get started. It's Kami Rojan and Kimberly on the left, Human Air and E Honda on the right. E Honda, the veteran, for the first time in a long time, is a release character for a new Street Fighter game. He was omitted entirely from Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and he didn't debut until very late in Street Fighter V's lifetime to make his impact despite his tenure as an original World Warrior. But he is here trying to fend the yard against the new blood, Kimberly, making her Street Fighter debut. So right now there is a lot of testing going on, buttons back and forth, because this is a game that has counter hit stun as if we're Street Fighter Cross Tekken, you have to be careful of what you're hit with. Um, after all, this is post Street Fighter V, crush counters have been around a long time. On top of that, you want to be careful about getting cornered because there is disaster waiting for you whether you hit or get blocked because of the drive impact. Now, that could be a bait to drive impact right back. Turnabout is fair play. Let us see what Kami Rojan has in store 
as he takes this first round. How will he defend it? Right now she's stuck in the corner against E Honda. E Honda trying to frame a picture, nobody home. You really want to be careful when you are cornered against anyone in Street Fighter VI. Not just the drive impact, but there are throw loops in this game. Very lethal ones. Some characters can combo off regular throws as if it were Marvel versus Capcom. And the throw scaling is not very lenient, if you know what I mean. Good little combo right there, ending in sumo headbutt. Alrighty, so right now we are... Uh-oh, there's a bomb. However, Honda fire back some buttons. Goes with one of his new moves, the sumo, the sumo rush. However, a wake-up throw. Managed to take game one for Kami Rojin. So additionally, as a reminder, there are... There are counter hit throw property as if it were dead or alive, which makes whiffing buttons even more deadly. Additionally, if you are not breaking throws correctly, the throw damage will be that much greater. It's also very strong against people who will try to drive parry incorrectly. So if you try to parry, there could be a throw waiting for you with counter hit damage. I mentioned earlier about the throw loop, so you have to be careful. Ooh, okay. So. Kimberly could not get a punish. That is easily Kimberly's best neutral button, the stand medium kick. Additionally, it's cancelable, so it's gonna be very useful for a drive rush should Kami Rojan feel like implementing it. There are two kinds of drive rush, one out of the drive parry stance and another out of cancelable normal moves, leading to FADC type shenanigans. Additionally, using the drive rush property allows for juggle hits in which there would not be any. Good little cross up right there. And the dive kick, this could be it. Oh no! Jab's defending. Right now, Kami's in big trouble, and he loses a round. E Honda and Human Error hang on. Alrighty, next slide. So we're going to good sweep right there. Ooh, good kick right there. Oh, the big chop, and that leads to a counter hit. What a stun right there. I don't think Human Error was expecting that, but all right. What's going to happen after that? So there's definitely some damage off that that he can convert off of should he anticipate that kind of stumble right there. There's another punish counter, but Honda too far away for Kimberly to punish reliably. Counter hit throw. There you go. Jumping into the Bushin run. So if you let the Bushin run just go normal, it will lead to um, that automatic climb up state and then at least the more shenanigans. However, if you end the run early with a button, it'll lead to traditional Bushman follow-ups. Uh-oh, power bomb! That could have been a combo right there. It was not converted off of. Thankfully, Kami Rojin made a steal deal with a jab. So now Kami Rojin is on set point. Ooh, okay, look at that. Doing jumping dash right off that big kick. That's her forward heavy kick, and should she connect with it, she can get jump cancel follow-ups, leading to a lot of mix-ups to further aggravate her opponents. Uh-oh, anti-air throw, that's a combo, and he, she does get a little bit, but not all of it. Right now, Kimberly jumping circles around E Honda, but she does not have much help to take a lot of this. Level three, here we go, but she's too far away, and what a crush counter. Still anyone's game right now. Human error hanging on. And human error ties it up at one. What a thriller to open the first King Returns, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, good look at that jump right there. Another swat right there. Okay, looks like Kami Rojin is starting to pick things up a bit. Okay. So this time Honda interrupted all of Kimberly Shenanigans with some buttons. So that's one answer if you have that forward heavy kick and she tries to jump cancel stuff. Just a mash out of it. Oh, this time she's far as fall away. Keep the corner. Not go for any mix right there. Ooh, swatting in. That's a jump cancel, by the way, so she can pursue easily. However, she still held on. Once again, Kami Rojan is on set point. See what happens here. Once again, everyone, thank you for tuning in to The King Returns today. This is going to be a great event, not just Street Fighter Six. There's also Tekken 7 and Guilty Gear Strive and Blaze Blue all on tap today. So look forward to the festivities.
These two are trading haymakers with, um, all right, seems to be firmly Kami Roji. This time he finished the job. Kami Roji and Kimberly will be advancing. Human Air will have one more chance to turn things around as he'll be entering the other side of the bracket. Hello, hello. All righty, guys, we are ready for the next slide. Next up is going to be Stormy and Margarita. Stormy is an RVA veteran. He has been around a very long time, so expect a lot of old man fundamentals and solid play. Meanwhile, we have Margarita, the Guilty Gear specialist, here to make some noise, as he did during the last King Returns, where he plays top four in Guilty Gear Strive. Let us see who comes up between the old and the new as we enter a new generation with Street Fighter VI. We have Marissa on Stormy's end and Mark Cammy on Margarita's end. It's going to be power versus speed. Let's see what happens. L. Aurora, it's good to see you in the chat. Welcome to the King Returns 3. This is Street Fighter 6. Okay, so something. I have not seen much Cammy play, but I do know Marissa will be using her lengthy limbs and big damage with plenty of armor on top of it to fluster Cammy and her pokes. So Cammy will have to be up close and personal to try and stop this onslaught that Marissa will attempt to put upon her. You have to respect her range and you have to respect the armor and the various plus frames on block should these slow attacks hit their mark. Perfect space right there. The mid range is exactly where Marissa will excel at. Additionally, she can use a space push kick to further enforce her will as well as that power dunk attack. However, that uh, has somewhat inconsistent frames on the armor, so a lot of people hit out of it, especially as it goes to active frames. I find that a lot of her armor moves, what a drive impact. A lot of her armor moves get nullified the moment she goes to active frames to actually start the attack. So for those trying to stop those big wind-up punches, that is an option. Firing back with that medium target combo, Crouch Heavy Punch, such a great button. Once again, Marissa is your character if you enjoy big buttons, big damage, a la Jack or Astaroth or Marduk. 
So the soul, the soul get off me that Marissa has is her gladiator stance, the Spartan stance. So from that, she can transition to a mid, a low, or a throw. It also has a point of armor allowing her to push forward and continue to enforce her will. Ooh, big damage right here. Burning all the bars, time for the level three. Not quite enough to take out Cammy. For those unaware, when a, ooh, drive impact firing through Cammy's offense. We talk about all the armor that Marissa has, but as a reminder, she does have the additional drive impact. And the damage she gets off of it, like many of her attacks, is tremendous. I have seen her peel off 80% life off of a counter drive impact. So be careful. However, now it's time for Cami to burn her bar. She is going to be converting all her meter into big damage. You kind of have to, chopping down the big tree. Firing back, counter drive impact. This could potentially do it. Not quite, but it was close. A crouch light and Margarita's up one nothing, featuring Cami. Yeah, that push kick. That is a uh, course looking forward kick, the bro kick for uh, WWE fans. Oh no, it was not enough to fire through the drive impact. Typically that's a three hit armor killing attack. And for those who don't realize, you see them flash green. That is the drive rush. You can cancel that from drive parry and that changed the properties of follow up moves. Margarita getting pummeled right now by Stormy. Stormy fired back in the big way, made the most of that wind up punch. He was symbol there using the uh, reconcile combo. There's that Spartan stance on body home. How you doing? Good to see you. Crow hero, how you doing? Stormy hangs on a little while longer. Okay, so right now Margarita trying to find a way to open up. Oh, there's another one. So very smart of Margarita to realize that these big buttons of Marissa do have a lot of recovery. So if a drive impact does hit its mark, there could be big problems. However, you don't want to be eating these wind-up punches that Marissa is throwing out. There is big damage off each and every one of them. Mr. Man is not up yet, but good to see you all the same. Okay, so tense right now. Both characters about even on life. Stand medium punch hits his mark again, but not comfortable. Wind up punch again. Thankfully, it wasn't worse for Cammy. Spin knuckle. Tense right now. Oh, big damage and what a conversion. Burning all the bars once again. This time it will be a confirmed KO. It's the critical art I mentioned earlier. When the opponent is low, when the character is low on health, doing level three, there will be extra damage, extra animations on top of it. Margarita is on, set, points. Wind up punch still nullified. Cammy picking her spots very well. And something else to worry about with Marissa, the armor can vary depending on which limb is being targeted. So depending which moves is coming your way, keep eyes on which limb to target because you may be able to go under or over the armor if that situation. Power dunk and still drive impact through, no conversion though. Oh, it's tense right now. Another drive impact. So much pain. And you want to be careful not to get thrilled by anybody in this game. The throws of this game are ridiculous. Walk up throw. What's going to follow it up? A little bit of shimmy, but Stormy keeps his cool. Drive impact, but you're close to the wall. Oh, man. Jump in and a throw. Margarita moves forward to nothing. Storm will have another chance to turn this around as he enters the other side of the bracket. This is, after all, double elimination.
Um, yeah, you're gonna want to use that. Is that a PS4 PS5 conver controller? You want to use that converter on your left. I only have one, sadly, for a PS4. your name, sir? Give me your tag. IRK? Thank you. Alright. Alga, you're on the right, correct? Excellent. Are you not playing DJ? Okay, just making sure. All right, so next up, we are going to have Irk and Stan Man Pan. Stan Man Pan, one of the original members of the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Defense Force. I remember back when he would compete in the Capcom Cup online qualifiers way back in 2013 with that Relento Marduk. He's going to continue his big body ways going with, going with E Honda. Sorry about that, guys. My laptop got unplugged, so I'm going to plug that in right now. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for your patience. I apologize for that. Okay. So, Stan Man Pan takes the first round. I'm sorry about that. I had to plug in my laptop. I thought I left it plugged in, but I did not. Well, the quality's already significantly better than it was before. That would explain a lot. Okay. So, right now, Stan Man Pan playing the simple Honda, being a fortress with the anti-air headbutts. As a reminder, hands are motion in this game, so there's no need to worry about pianoing. You just do Tatsu in a punch, and Honda will start his patty cake games. Meanwhile, let us see what... DJ and Irk are baking for Mr. Patty Cake. There is a wake-up reversal for one. Oh no, more sumo smashes. Unfortunately, DJ is in burnout. You see those blocks near the life bar. If you, if you are out, you enter a burnout state where everything becomes way more plus on block than it would be normal, and you have to weather the storm. DJ has almost replenished his drive bar. He does drive impact, saving Irk a moment while longer. He is not getting the punches off those big headbutts, and Stan Man Pan is taking full advantage. It is now 1-0, Stan Man Pan. Over, oh, good. Always. He is always on guard. Stan Man Pan has been around a long time. I mentioned how long he has been around the Supercross Tekken scene, talking about the online qualifiers. So you know if he is making things happen in a bracket as savage as that, you know he has the fundamentals he needs to adapt quickly. Street Fighter 6, good punish right there. DJ using his new moves, the sway stands, and the various faults that go with it to try and cover the gap that Honda is placing upon him by being that fortress. DJ will try and find his way in, break down the gates, and maybe get victory on the other end of it. Ooh, chasing down twice now with the headbutts. And the uh, Atlanta Braves chop into another headbutt has Stan Man Pan on set point. Sumo smash, counter hit style. That leads to follow ups. Gotta love the juggles. Stan Man Pan showing his cross Tekken roots right here with them juggles. As a reminder, everything hurts. You had to be careful not to get counter hit. And there are many ways to counter hit some, whether it's a punish or on startup. So it's not the traditional counter hit you see like normal. Uh, tried to link the hands. Still going with the smashes. Command grab. DJ is in big trouble. Level three. Here we go. Nobody home. Honda says, let me give you a hug and throw you down. My hug pillow is right now lying down on the ground. Honda giving some signatures and making his best TikTok face as he and Stan Man Pan move to the next stage of the bracket. Sorry, I've been following him a long time. No, you're fine. You, 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 I finally got to hear like, the stream. Like, 
I watched it, but that was cool. I've known him for has to be eleven years now. I remember you you showed up at like the River City Runbacks saying I thought I was the only one who played cross pecking. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Eleven years. Something like that. Yeah. So that was when I first started doing it. That was when um, I was in high school. Yeah. So yeah, I'm um Aaron Spinnicky. Ah, Naisha, good to meet you. I'm just Naisha. Yeah, I'm uh I'm known like worldwide for Street Fighter cross pecking. So I was like keep eyes on people who've been part of my journey, and he wasn't really part of it. Worldwide. Worldwide. He can tell you. What's your um, street name, or like uh, your game name? Uh, Psycho Blue. Psycho it's like the Power Ranger bad guy. That's cool, this is cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. I'm a stream, and I'll, I guess we can do it. I think you can watch it and see it. Yeah, I'm going to be putting this up on my YouTube. Uh, Psycho Blue SFXT, and if he makes top four, It'll be up on a really big channel called NYC Furby. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like one of his main providers. You can see myself all the time there now. Yeah, I know. So they'll make top four, all right? That way you can show like everybody you know, hey, I'm on this channel of like 70,000 plus followers. Do you have the, uh, the bread? They said there was something about like Star GG, but I don't, I don't have it. Um, I don't have it in front of me. Got it. All right, let's see what happens. No worries. Nice meeting you too.
converters to plug in. Only use, do not remove the converters, just only use the converters to plug in. Only use the converters, otherwise it won't read. Yeah. Keep Nick on the left and Nicky on the right. Um, so yeah, long of the air and the Dan. Long of the Dan. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yankee Vicky. Okay. What happened? Oh yeah, I remember you. I remember you, Nagato. It's good to see you again, man. Good to see you, Nagato. We're about to get our next match started. All right. So on the left, we have Nice Guy Nick, one of my brother TOs of the King Returns. The King Returns was his brainchild, and I'm just the one tagging along. And on the right, the legend, Vicky Viper. Man. So Vicky Viper, no introduction needed. If you are someone who plays anything on Fightcade, Vicky Viper will definitely be a name you recognize. Vicky Viper's also made her name across several other games, King of Fighters, Vampire Savior, especially Vampire Savior. Um, I believe I've seen her in Sailor, oh, Sailor Moon S. How can I forget? Sailor Moon S. The salt that Vicky Viper reminds people in Sailor Moon S are legendary. When I worked backstage at Capcom Cup, we told stories of the chairs thrown that Vicky Viper reaped from a most defeated foe. Let us get started. Ryu and nice guy Nick against Kimberly and Vicky Viper. Let us see what the Apex Predator has in store for our fearless leader, nice guy Nick. Okie dokie. So, I am very curious how this will go. I don't really see Nick play Street Fighter much. I mostly know him as a Tekken player. So, I will see exactly what Vicky makes out of him. Oh, Drive Impact all the way from downtown. Thing was not a counter hit, so no crumple stun necessary. 
Uh, I see Vicky Viper going all the way with the drive rush, and you will have to because Kimberly relies heavily on her speed and her setups. So using the drive rush to further accentuate what she gets conversions off of, it's not the worst idea. Especially since, other than stand medium kick, her cancelable buttons really aren't that great. So she'll need to pick her spot. The good news is she can clear large gaps of distance very quickly, be it with her ground speed or moves that take her airborne like forward heavy kick, or just go for a jump in and make things happen. Vicky Viper is also a veteran of Street Fighter Alpha 2, so you better believe Vicky Viper knows what to do around a Bushin character such as Kimberly taking the first round. Okay, so I remember facing Kimberly in the cracked beta, and my goodness, uh, she was a, a frustrating character. I don't know exactly what changes have been made in the interim. She also has some pretty nifty stuff off that uh, Bushin Tatsu. She can do like an instant version that leads to um, kind of like an overhead in a way that the Tatsu normally wouldn't have. It's not an overhead, it's definitely like a landing hit. And I've seen her do bomb steps with that move. So I believe you have to do like the instant version of Bushin Tatsu. There could be a, a tricky, at the very least, it's a tricky low crush attack where it'll go over crouching attacks and hit the way down for a comboable attack. Sliding in that perfect spot, the Ibuki stuff. Anyone who free with this channel knows how I feel about those comboable slides thanks to Homeless Dragon's Buki. Kimberly doing her best to rep the Kunoichi flag as she takes the first game, putting Vicky Viper up 1-0. I love how fast rematches are in this game. It's instantaneous. Nick still trying to find his spot. Another jump in. Vicky Viper has those fireballs scouted. Stuffed again. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go, we're looping. Okay, Nick managed to get out of the throw loops. Got to convert off those though. You need to make every hit count against Kimberly, being she does not have much help to play with, which gives her less chances to bring the pain. Oh, that's big. Let's see what, not quite enough, but it was close. Tricky right there. Vicky Viper is on set point. Boom. Good cross up right there. Oh no. You saw Ryu try to go for uh, his V skill S charge. For many characters in Street Fighter 6, returning from Street Fighter 5, their V skills now exist as special attacks. Usually like a down down punch or um, down down kick, things like that. Firing back, what a drive impact. It was not enough to jab out of that mess. Unfortunately, conversions weren't much to talk about. Nice guy, Nick. It's keeping it simple right now. It's very close right now. Now he has a life lead. So how will Vicky Viper carefully get out of this? Sliding in. No combo, though. Cross up. Still no combo. However, there is a boost on the overhead. Perfect spot right there. Stan Meehan kicking the drive rush. Finishes the job. Vicky Viper moves forward 2-0.
Yep, that is stream. Um, just let me, give me just a moment. I gotta put the bracket up the stream real quick. Thank you, thank you guys for your patience. Y'all, all right, that's not what I want. So, John, you're gonna be on the left, right? You're gonna be on the left, right? Excellent. Alrighty, we are ready for the next match. John A. Falcon, one of Richmond's finest against Margarita. No introduction needed. I am pretty sure he is not going to play Daskeef, but stranger things have happened. I really do love Zangief's story mode, Street Fighter VI. The accents with him and Marissa flirting back and forth. Oh my God, it sounds like WWF in the mid-80s. All the trilling and all the... All the trilling and all the European swag that those two possess, just dripping verbal poetry, like fine molasses. Right now, though, it'll be a different accent, a British accent, as Margarita is going back to Cami. John A. Falcon going to tried and true Ryu. John A. Falcon does a lot of the Daigo stuff, picking Ryu and Guile. I don't know if he plays Balrog, but being there's no Balrog in Street Fighter VI, he won't have a choice that matters. He'll be going with Ryu, and we may see Guile later, but I really do like Ryu in this game. I do hope that John A. Falcon sticks with him. I enjoy all the pop he has, especially... Oh! Drive Impact! This is not Street Fighter V, my friend. You gotta worry about that reversal edge shenanigans. Boom! Ooh, good spot right there. Caught Cammy sleeping, and now she is taking all that damage. But John A. Falcon and Ryu are in burnout state. Will it make a difference? <laughs> all the links right there into EX Cannon Drill. And it was enough to catch Ryu unawares and make him vulnerable to that downward attack. The cannon strike. Ooh, stuff right there. Putting the DP right up Cammy's back knuckle. God. John A. Falcon, so good at creating the optimal space he needs for Ryu's most reliable buttons. We got throw loops, ladies and gentlemen. However, once again, Cammy jabbing out of it, still tapping Ryu's ankles. DP, not this time, says Ryu. Drive rush into big pain and plenty of drive meter to convert off everything that he needs. Perfect spacing on that crouch medium kick, drive rushing just when it mattered most. As a reminder, Doing a drive rush from a norm a cancelable normal does take more meter than just doing a drive rush from the parry stance. And you have to be sure you know which one to use as you don't be caught unaware. See right there? That was a regular drive rush and it went to the overhead. Thankfully blocked. That would have comboed otherwise. For those who do not know, drive rush attacks change the properties of the next attack to provide more stun that would happen otherwise. Oh no, John A. Falcon depletes what's left of his drive and eats a drive impact. Another drive impact, this time blocked. Don't get caught on the wall. Big Johnny is now up 1-0. Okie dokie. So, look at that space. You need to remind that space. If you are Cami, think about that crouch medium kick. Now, I wonder if Cami can retract her hurt box and use Stammy like she can in other Street Fighter games in situations like that. I know Cami and Street Fighter Cross Tekken relies very heavily on Stammy medium kick for that very purpose. No pressure from John Falcon to really do anything. Uh oh. Wrong side of the corner. Drive impact is blocked. Drive and pack, and there's a wall splat. You can't be blocking that in the corner. Oh, firing back. John only has one block of drive left. He'll have to use it wisely. 
Not done yet. Firing through the fuck ball, and Cammy is going to take this one. Or not. That's unfortunate. Clutch throw break. DP. Cammy bet it all and came up snake eyes. Drive impact. Don't be throwing too many fireballs when you're at mid range. There could be a drive impact waiting for, you for all characters. That's something every probably has to worry about mid range a drive impact blasting through any kind of projectile attack, unless it's one with a little bit extra hits on it. Drive impact. Oh no, and he's stunned because he's already in burnout state. Oh no, no throw loop for you. DP, nobody home. Think it wasn't worse for Margarita. Drive impact firing back. DP. John trying to get momentum back. It's going to take some time. There it is right there. He picked his spot. And he is burning his bar. He is in critical art state. So much damage. Not quite enough, but one more Schmicks could do it. Johnny Falcon, plenty of drive rush, and he uses it optimally, calling out the drive impact. And John A. Falcon shows why he is the biggest Johnny as he goes up to nothing and moves forward through the bracket.
reference? No. All righty. We are ready for our next match. It's going to be veteran Spartan on the left and Kateo with the impeccable Utana gear on the right. For those who really know the deep side of blue lore, I do love me some Utana. So we will see if one of the greatest anime of all time and those who share in its murk can overcome veteran Spartan, whatever it is he may have in store. Well, we're having some technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Ken, button check? Gotcha, thank you. Um, hold on just a moment. All right, here we go. Veteran Spartan and Kateo. Kateo going with Das Gif. They're talking about the outrageous accents in Street Fighter VI, and none is more outrageous than the greatest Nikita Koloff impersonator around, Mr. Zangief. Well, Veteran Spartan going with Homeless Ken Masters. He has been framed. He has had his fortune dwindle to nothing thanks to being scammed again and again. And now he'll try and rebuild his fortune the old-fashioned way in the Street Fighter Tournament. We will see what Zang has to say about that. Curse splat, you go. Oh, there you go. Drive impact destroying Ken's offense, and now he is dunked on his head. Oh, the CTE is piling up now. Another drive impact. Nobody home. Another drive impact. It's time to counter that with one of his own. Ken Masters bringing the pain. Not much of a follow-up. Wake up, SPD. We're getting bold, and it was enough to take the first round. There is no margin for error this time. On top of the crazy damage Zangief does with SPD anyway, there is counter hit throw damage. So if you are pressing buttons, it's going to hurt even more. It's like dead or alive. Drive impact. Also, his lariat has changed a bit. It does not have the same invincibility as before unless you use the overdrive version. The regular lariat is two punches, and the OD, the EX lariat, is three punches. And that will lead to mission play planes that you want. Drive impact, still not enough hits to blow through. Time to once again churn that butter. Ken once again getting dunked on his head. The CTE is piling up big time, ladies and gentlemen. And I do not believe he has the same kind of... Actually, he actually might be part of a union that would cover that. He's Ken Mash after all. He has good money for... Oh, no! Nobody home for that level three. And Ken's going to make sure Zangia pays for his hubris, only to get punished, dunked on his head again. Kateo is up one nothing. Punch to face, head to ground. In this case, it just chops the side of your ears, and then your head winds up in the ground. Uh-oh, Ken trying to build it only to get thrown. Watch yourself. Good sweep right there. Wants that spacing and anti-air throw the antacid drop. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the classic. Uh-oh, counter hit, drive impact. It's time to get Ken to get taken for a ride. This ain't Marvel, baby. This is Street Fighter Six. Another drive impact, chopping him at the ears. Not only does he have to get a CAT scan for all the concussion he has taken, he may have to go see an oleologist because his hearing won't be the same after that. Boom, another not regular throw. No need for Oki, drop kick. Oh no, this time Ken did correctly press up. Zangi trying to chase after. 
There you have to. So the bad news for Zangi, if he is out of drive rush, so he won't have uh, the same ODs he has normally. The good news is he has a actually not too bad of a life lead, so it's not insurmountable for veteran Spartan. Oh, this time he is churning. All right, Kateo takes it. It is time to go for a ride with a bad landing. Kateo moves forward to nothing. That was good. That was good. Loved it.
Oh, you want first or second? Okay. I don't. I don't give a shit. First two, because it's winner semi. Are we that far right? Let me write down winner semi then. Are we sure winner semi? Let's hit yes, one real quick. Winner semi. Because if winner winner of us going to winner finals, and then we have to pay against Vicky and whoever. Yep, Vicky you're right. Well, um, no. So. Oh, you were so close. You're. Hey, be sure to make top four. You're almost there. All right. You got to get through losers now. Because right now, the person you beat is the other side. The person beat you, yeah. The Zangia. I'll be that the Zangia you faced, right? No, no, no. I played one. Oh, hmm? I played Vicky Viper. You played Vicky? Yeah. Then how did Vicky how did you get hold on? Mateo. Yes, see? Oh, good stuff. Well you're wait, no, this is not happening. Then why are you why did you do nothing? Go talk about it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Somebody's not connected here. Yeah, give me, hold on, give me, no, let me do one thing real quick. Because this will solve everything. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for winners semifinals. Next up on the left, Big Johnny A. Falcon. And on the right, the badass from the beach, Trey Star. The baddest baller in all the Southern Virginia beach land. Let us see who takes it between solid fundamentals and big heart. After all, both John A. Falcon and Trey Star are students of the Ryu School of Patience and Balance. So this could go either way. Will it be a Ryu mirror? I'm a big I'm a big Ryu fan, ladies and gentlemen, especially in this game. Oh my goodness, the the range on his donkey kick, he might as well be called Johnny A. Cage Falcon with the range on that kick. He goes a long way with that slide he gets. Oh, Traystar going with Jury. Switching things up a bit. Let us see what Traystar can make out of the shenanigans that Jury Han is known for whether it be for the various Fuhajin installs or her quick air-to-air -air attacks leading to combos or the return of the dive kick. So don't be throwing fireballs too much or Jury may come diving into your DMs. It may not be a message you necessarily like. Here we go. Footsies versus Feetsies. Ryu versus Jury. Big Johnny A. Falcon versus Star. And again, you need to watch out for Ryu and his drive rush because the overhead does combo. This is not Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This is Street Fighter VI, and drive rush gives Ryu the overhead combo properties that you would see typically in the other Street Fighter game we typically air here on Cross Wires. Right now, Big Johnny taking a commanding lead. The jury tried forcing Ryu with the drive rush, but Ryu stood pat. Lots of medium punches. As a reminder, you don't want to get parried, whether it be of a drive impact or the classic drive parry. Because Oh, drive impact. Jury thought she had her time, but Ryu knew it was not. Gets the throw and gets the first round. Ooh, okay. You saw, oh, big DP. There's a mass opportunity for Trey Star. Making the most of it for now. As a reminder, in Street Fighter Six, 
EX moves have been replaced by overdrive moves, and you have a full stock of overdrive to start every round. So if you feel like piling on the damage quickly with your EX combos, go right ahead. I said when Street Fire V came out, the trials were nice, but you never resort to actually do the trials in an actual match. Not the case in Street Fighter VI, where you get most of the fun stuff out of the gate. Unfortunately, this was not much fun for Jury as she eats a donkey kick into Shin Shoryuken. Big Johnny is up 1-0. As reminds me, first to two. This will be the last first to two match here in winner's bracket. As after this will be winner's finals, we will be deciding the other side of winner's finals momentarily. Trey Stars retreating, going to, there we go. I'm assuming Trey Star didn't want the mirror at first, but now there is no choice. He will need to beat Big Johnny with his own character. It's Ryu versus Ryu, the original star of the show, looking to show his star is not faded yet as he looks himself in the mirror. The memory remains. Okie dokie, so here we go. John is the blue Ryu and Traystar is the white Ryu. Let us see who comes out between blue and right. Okay, there you go. This looks a lot more natural, but you don't need whiffing buttons on Big Giant, not when he has so much, actually he doesn't really have much in the way of drive meter anymore. For those who are tuning for the first time and watching six for the first time, Doing a drive rush from a normal attack takes way more bar than just doing a regular drive rush from drive parry. You have to manage that. Big Johnny decided that he had enough life to take the risk to go under burnout state, and now he is on set point. Well, now it is Traystar picking his spots with the crouch medium kick. Expect that move used a lot here in this match to make sure any opening is attacked as much as possible. Don't be whiffing anything. Good throw right there. However, Traystar has found some level of footing. This has been a much more solid bit of play than what we saw earlier with Jury. Uh oh, now it's Big Johnny firing back again. Got that crouch medium kick. Big jump in. Uh, so he probably would have gotten a donkey kick from there into a DP, but better than nothing. What a punish. Make sure that hurts. Now Big Johnny is in burnout state. If Traystar can find a way to get, get John to the corner, it could be a problem until that happened again. It ends the same way as it did last game. Donkey kick in the Shin Shoryuken. Big Johnny would move over to winner's finals 2-0. The good news is Traystar won't have far to climb if he wants to be in top four loser side. It's a, it's a very wild game. Yeah, it, it's hard. There, there are so many subsystems in this game. So many you have to think about. Like drive rush alone changes everything about normal neutral. I, I was thinking about that when you got cornered. I was saying his best hope is to try and get like a back throw, and then you can paralyze him and get maybe a drive impact. He was. He, he wants you to move so he can catch you low. Yep. <laughs> maybe. And, and all, yeah, it's hard in that situation. You have to basically. I'm more afraid of that than any other. You have to. You basically have to risk it all in like an yeah, EX Tatsu or something like that to catch him when he tries to reach. I got it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Good stuff, man. Make it through losers. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I can get 
see where I'm at. Um, I'm in box. You're right here. Okay, I'm ready now. So I will change this so that's where it needs to be. Okay. There we go. Reset match. Okay. Yeah, I got you. You are right here. Cool. I so if, if you win this match, you'll be in top four. Cool. All right. Uh, Kateo. See what happens. Make sure that the All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to decide the other half of winner's final. Stan, Man, Pan, and Kiteo. All right, Stan, Man, Pan will be sticking with E Honda, while Kiteo going with Das Geef. For those who do not the lore, who are unaware of the lore of Honda and Zangief, these two were former tag team partners back in Street Fighter Alpha 3, where... Zangief and Honda destroyed the Shadaloo base in Zangief's ending. But now the love is gone and the mega powers have exploded. Let us see what wins between weight and power. Muscle versus fat. Although Honda's really fat, he's just like functionally big. So 
Either or, uh-oh, drive impact. It's time to go for a ride, Bob Boom. Good things Honda Head is reinforced from years ahead, but oh, we're going YOLO with the smash, but he still has plus frames. Still going. Already, Zangief is in a burnout state, which could be a big problem given all of the frame advantage that Honda is known for. Oh no, in the moment that Honda gets something other than that, that's when Zangief chooses to jump right, recovers, coming in, jumping in, and SPD, the classic. Street Fighter II tactics, jump and SPD as soon as you land. Just a moment. All righty. So, with that, oh, there you go, Sumo Smash, defending the skies. Zangief may be claiming we won't defend the skies, but Honda not so bad at uh, keeping the... Keeping the air clear, if you know what I mean. More headbutts, more headbutts, and he's trying to get away. No avail. Smashes, smashes, and more smashes. No one depletes a drive meter quite like E Honda. And shouts to Capcom for adding the classic Champion Edition color as Honda's 2P. That is such a good color. Whoa. Uh -oh. Countering a drive impact with one of his own Honda. Oh no, and there's no one home for the SPD either. Once again, Zangief is out of, not, yeah, not that, it's off the ground. Not that point. Sandman Pan drops a perfect on Kateo. Honda over Zangief. Relentless. This game does have a block meter, thanks to the drive meter also counting as block meter. The only way to not lose drive is to drive parry. Kateo considering what to do next, that was, that was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen. Right, Kateo running it back this time with Geef still, still in the pocket. So Kateo will need to win this game or Kateo will be Heading to loser's bracket while Stan Pan faced winner. Follow another counter drive impact from Stan Man Pan and E Honda. Here we go. Using the newer moves, the sumo rush. Ah, he misses the follow up with the 100 hands. As a reminder, that is a motion attack. Tatsu and punch. More headbutts. More headbutts. And a drive impact. Geef has no answers right now. There we go. There's a juggle right there. Watch yourself. Oh, no. You saw that. Zangief tried to go for a throw, only for Han to go for two of his own. The Ochio throw times two. Stamman Pan is on. Set point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, he can't be doing that on Honda. He's always a fortress. Oh, okay, he got a ground bounce off the uh, Sumo Smash right there. Still not time to punish. Ooh, drive impacts. My idea, but there was a Sumo Smash, so Honda wasn't there to take the impact. Looking disastrous right now. Honda, cross up, and then another perfect with the Ochio throw. Stanman Pan will be in top four facing Big Johnny in winner's finals in a 2-0 win over Kateo. Kateo will, however, have not much, not much worry about trying to find her place in top four as they will be moved to the other side of loser's quarters final. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be loser's bracket. We are in the process of determining who will round out our loser's semis. Next up is going to be Knight and Vicky Viper. NYTE, right? Excellent. Excelente. Yo, the Axis game rule, by the way. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. Jack be nimble. Jack be, uh-oh. What happened? We had an explosion just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. 
Yeah, we're having a big explosion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got you, I got you, I got you. I um I have to redo. Yeah, be careful. Okay, we're good. Okay, let me see. If I can uh just a moment. Got to react reactivate this. Did it work? Okay, we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, we are ready to get going. It is going to be Lily Hawk on the left with Knight and Kimberly on the right with. Vicky Viper of PAG. PAG, yeah, you know me and you know them because now it is time to make things happen. <laughs> Did you hear me when I said that? What did you say? Oh. Well, I said Vicky killed my Fighter D career when I was big. <laughs> All righty. Let us see what makes things happen here in Loser's Bracket. As a reminder, this is... Uh, Going to be losers for the next few games until we're in top four. Um, we have already decided everything. Winners bracket, winners finals will be Big John A. Falcon and Stan Man Pan. Let's focus on here. Good job with the air target combo from Lily Hawk. She's got some pretty crazy height, and be careful not to get thrown. Her command grab does damage comparable to uh, to her alleged father T Hawk. However, we will see if. Knight will have a chance to implement those throws as Kimberly literally walks all over Lily as Vicky Viper goes up in this game. Up one round. Let's see how Knight fires back. You're going to be wanting to do a lot of X marks. Oh, good job with the Condor dive using the OD meter right there. There we go. There is SPD number one. Mind your spot. Good job firing through Condor Spire. And another SPD. Things are falling apart rapidly for Kimberly. Let's see what she can do to fire back. Oh, there you go. Just trample on Lily's face, running through. It's just the mark error is very slight right now, and those sticks have a lot of active frames and a lot of range as well. Not much way to hurt box. So Knight using that to his advantage as Lily Hawk ties it up in this game one. Oh, good job, neutral jump, heavy kick. Okay, so you saw Lily use. Okay, there's her other um, there's her other spray paint bomb. She'll have to recharge after this one. She is out of spray paint attack, ladies and gentlemen. So no teleports and no bombs. She'll have to restock when she has a moment in neutral. Assuming Kimberly will need it. Air talk combo again. Oh, what a exchange right there! It did not work out very well for Kimberly. Again, tick throws. They hurt. The good news. Okay, so never mind. Kimberly does have one more stock left. Um, meanwhile, there you go. You saw that Lily Hawk recharged her own uh, stock right there. Both Kimberly and Lily have moves that they can implement to regain access to special attacks that have a set counter to them, whether it be the spray the spray paint attacks or the wind based buffs. Kimberly is going with the full level three, and because she is low on health. Now, Lily has no health, thanks to the damage buff that comes with it. Vicky Viper is up 1-0. Both Lily and Kimberly thrive very much at uh, about four screen away from each other. So, not so much the mid-range, but just inside of it. Lily can force her way in thanks to the Condor Dive and Condor Spire, especially when she is stocked up on the wind buffs. Meanwhile, Kimberly will be relying on her speed and rapid pace to attack Lily when she is not expecting it and then make sure that pressure does not go easily escaped. SPD, though, and knows how far that Lily bounces away after the SPD. That means Kimberly... We'll have to fight her way in all over again. Thing she does with the forward heavy kick and got the jump mix afterwards. Uh-oh, boost and run stuff. It continues and continues. A throw has Vicky Viber and Kimberly on set point. Let's see how Knight responds. Lily Hawk is, uh, this is our first Lily, this is our first Lily Hawk we have seen on stream all day. And this is, again, pretty late in bracket, so 
don't count out night just yet. This is where the uh, the pros are separated from the Joes. This part of the bracket. Oh, we got the slide combo right into the level three. Kimberly just says, let me play you my favorite song, and we're going to turn it up all night long. All right, overdrive into the power bomb. Finishing off with the Bushin Tatsu with style. Vicky Vibrant Kimberly move forward to nothing. That, that, that Fuerte stuff right so there. Also, I yeah. could literally... Because, like, I also go pretty far back when I do, like... Like, I could... I could when, I, when I, like, do the run, like, on you, like, I flip back pretty far. So, like, if, if I choose to do nothing... Tag again, sir? I'm good, man. Thank you. Alrighty, everybody, it's time for our next slide. We are once again in loser brackets, Unga Man and Margarita. Now, these two were in top four of Guilty Gear Strive at the last King Returns. The King Returns, too. And once again, they find themselves on opposite ends of the battlefield here in loser's bracket, late in loser's bracket for Street Fighter VI. Once again, winner's bracket has been finalized as it will be... John A. Falcon and Stan Man Pan in winners finals. These next few battles until top four will decide who rounds out losers semis and thus concludes the losers bracket.
And once that is ready, top four will be streamed in its entirety. Anga Man going full Anga with Marissa, while Margarita goes a more lithe Anga with Cami. I don't know how to be clever about that one. All right, Anga Man going Anga already with the power dunk. There is so much frame advantage in everything Marissa does. The good news is you have drive pair, you have drive rush, you have drive impact, all of which to make Marissa very unhappy here in the stadium. So right now, Marissa needs to go ahead. Marissa will be relying very heavy on her punish and stand medium punch, back heavy punch. They will be the most reliant punish starters. Uh-oh, powering through. Be sure to watch the windup. There is armor on that attack, but I'm pretty sure you can go low. Marissa lunges forward. I also have seen people stuff the punch and uh, after it comes active, so lose the armor. Oh, speaking of Unga, you saw Marissa go for another windup punch. I'm the super variant, but Cami said nay to that. Twisting Marissa in knots. Uh, there you go. We talked earlier about the drive parry, and now is Marissa using on her own end. Watch those jabs, and you don't be stuck in tick throw range. No choice now. You're stuck in the corner. Good throw break. Neutral reset only for Cami to continue the drive impact. Marissa let go of the drive parry too soon. Cami, you saw Cami shim right there with the stand heavy punch. Marissa did not fall for it. Both characters are low on drive meter. Ooh, it's tense right now, firing back. There's so much damage. Uh, not quite enough, though. Unga Man has almost three bars winding up this time. Marissa hits her mark. Only for Cami to dive kick in, get a tick throw, and get the first game. Margarita is up one nothing. Here we go. Next slide. Power dunk, nobody home, and no cannon spike either. Marissa jumping in for free. Uh-oh. There's no trade right there. You see Marissa going for some tricky air normals. Yeah, not the worst idea to go for drive impact to potentially stop those punches, but I'm pretty sure that the charge punch will stop the drive impact. Ooh, look at that. Spartan stands into command grab. It is rough right now, and that's a big punish. You saw Marissa went for it again, and Cammy was not there to take it. However, Cammy is in a disastrous shape right now. Her health is low, and so is Marissa's, and it might be complete to play after this. Oh, no, not that was not a true combo. Cammy got the right call, but couldn't get the finish, and it is Unga Man with a clutch air target combo saving that round. Brissa, once again, she can charge her heavies uh, to change the properties, both on hit and on block. And you saw right there, that's the OD version of the charge up punch. Look at the damage that did. Fully charged again. Cammy tried punishing, but is still eating pain. There is so much pain right now. So much damage. This will not KO, but it will be very close. So much pain. What a turnaround for Unga Man. Unga Man knew that he got saved that last round. He is making sure he does not squander it as he and Marissa try to overcome Margarita's Cami. This is how the last round ended. Drive impact blocked. Unfortunately, you're stuck in the corner, so it's not going to help you. Dive kick in. Oh, it's very smart. Unga Man knew the throw was coming. It's saving. Saving Marissa. That won't, though. Drive impact into the wall again, and Margarita is on set point with Cami. Oh, you see Marissa going in with the drive rush right there. Remember those low kicks, but no combos, though. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, missed the juggle follow up. No worries. Love it. So Marissa can combo off that EX Rekka by going into drive rush and then going into a juggle button. Um, when you are in drive rush hitting airborne opponents, that will lead to a juggle or continue a juggle state. Cami is going to be burning all that bar early on. Not the worst idea. Again, you have to chip away Marissa as much as possible, just like we saw earlier with Stormy's Marissa. Oh, wind up not enough armor though. You may want to go low after this. Oh, very smart. We tried drive rushing again, but Cami tossed her away. And now it's Marissa walking to stand medium kick. Margarita moves forward to nothing.
This decides loser semis, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for losers' corners. PAG, Vicky Viper, and Trey Star. This is losers' quarters. Yeah. All righty, here we go. Vicky Viper, Trey Star, losers' quarters. I am curious to see how this will pan out. Once again, the winner of this will be rounding out one half of losers' semis, and then will be three of our four top four competitors decided. Both of these competitors have a lot of experience playing multiple fighting games and doing well in multiple fighting games. Trey Star, I know not just for Street Fighter and his Ryu, but also a capable Soul Calibur player. And he will be competing alongside me in the Soul Charge circuit at Beast in the East this August. For now, it is time to make things happen. Trey Star, Vicky Viper, who will come out on top? Looks like Trey Star is going back to Jury Han. Vicky Viper sticking with the tried and true Kimberly. I expect blazing speed from both characters. But sometimes slowing it down has its benefits, especially in a game like Street Fighter. This game has all these drive mechanics, but the rules of Street Fighter still very much apply, and you have to respect having a good defense and just a good offense and finding a balance between the two. Look at the dash speed on both these characters. Kimberly is already low on drive meters, so Jury will try and take advantage. However, Vicky Viper firing back. Drive meters most replenished. Wake up DP managed to stop Kimberly's assault, and there's no bomb as well. Throw number one. Drive impact, not much of a reward there. They're good anti-air from Jury Han. So let's see if Jury's stand Miyake was any bit as deadly as it is in Street Fighter V. That was ridiculous. For now, though, Traystar clutches it out with a clutch jab, stopping Kimberly's assault. Watch it. That is a mix every time it hits, hit or block. Wake up DP, stopping Kimberly's assault once again. Trading lights right now. However, it is Vicky Viper and Kimberly getting the most out of it. Jury stuck in the corner. It's going to be rough right here. Throw. No bomb this time. Okay. Keep it simple with the pinwheel. Still, uh, still a ways to climb for Trey Star. Oh, what a jump in from Vicky Viper and Kimberly. Bad spot right now. Good block, that was so needed. What patience from Traystar right there. But empty, low, and a slide. Managed to save it for Kimberly. Even Kimberly's in disbelief. 
And you want to watch that slide range. That does combo. That does link. And Kimberly does get a lot off these links. Vicky Viper said, it's time to stop fooling around. I'm going right into level three. Take this early life lead. Ooh, careful. Good call out from Trey Stark. Got the DP. That was very much needed. And now we're getting those drivers confirmed. Now it is Jerry burning level three. Driver is making sure every stray hit hurts as much as possible. Very smart of Kimberly to check Jury as she comes in and uh, anti air again. Exactly what Jury is looking for. Trey Star is up 1 0. Once again, guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. As a reminder, top four will be on MYC Furby on YouTube. This tournament in its full, complete form will be on my YouTube, Psycho Blue SFXT. You can also check out the TLDR of all the clips from this tournament on my Fresh Cut sometime later next week. I may have some YouTube Shorts versions of it as well. Boom, boom. Oh, well, Jury. All right, Traystar and Jury find their rhythm. This has been all Traystar drive impact. And now it is Traystar on set point. All right, but Vicky Viper has been in this situation many times before. Vicky Viper is a tournament veteran of many different games. And Vicky Viper, more importantly, knows what it's like to go deep in tournament and emerge victorious as its champion, even regardless of the competition. So there's no uh, even about it. You got to deal with in front of you, and Vicky Viper doing just that, keeping things even until a missed time boosting run leads into Jury getting another DP. And again, because the OD meter, there's no EX stock. You'll have plenty of it to use. Whoa, okay. So Vicky Viper decides to come in with frame trap after frame trap, and finally, Traystar cracks. What a turnaround for Vicky Viper until that happened. Now, Okay, so the ba bad news for Trey Star, he is out of. Oh! I you wow! Uh, wow! Trey Star clutches it out with a jab. I thought, I thought Kimberly had that, but Jury held on to a prayer and made the most of it. Trey Star will be in losers semis. An end of pools. This is the last losers quarter match. Winner of this will decide the other half of losers semis and the fourth entrant in our top four for the four for the first ever Street Fighter VI Richmond Monthly offline here at the Castleburg Brewery. It's the King Returns Three Losers Quarters. Margarita and Kiteo. Okie dokie, so I'm going to assume Katea will be returning to Das Geef. Margarita going with Cami. Speed versus power. Now we've already seen just how little punishment Cami can take given her low health pool. And with Zangief and the ridiculous damage on his SPDs, particularly counter hit SPDs, this could be over in a flash if both sides aren't careful, since Cammy can deliver plenty of pain on her own, putting you in a near endless loop of pressure, whether it be through throws, through shimmy strikes, through jab confirms, and there could just be a drive impact your way since Zangief doesn't exactly, oh, w perfect parry into the SPD, finally. No drive impact Nez parry, just flex on him and start churning that butter. Oh, there's the drive impact. Time to be taken for a ride. Bob, boom big damage. Big, big trip, bad landing again. Cami in a bad spot. Oh, Kateo going all in. EX Russian bear grab. So right now we need to be careful now. If we are someone low on health, 
and someone who needs to deal with the wildness of Street Fighter 6. Another drive impact. Bop, boom. Zangief making it look easy right now. Calling out Cami every step of the way. Ooh, so a little bit too much block stun there, so no SPD. You see Zangief go for a drive parry. Got one another perfect drive parry. And oh man, Margarita, oh there you go. No drive at this time, just a throw, another throw. This may be the answer. Drive impact gets the wall splat, and now Margarita has advantage, another drive impact, nobody home. Oh, ah! no, that has been an accident. However, a light SPD with counter properties. Dodge managed to close deficit just a little bit. Drive impact, drive impact, and that should be the round. Margarita ties it at one round apiece here in game one. Yeah, the explosiveness of Zangief cannot be understated. And if Cam, there you go, punch to face, punch to face, chop to neck. No, chop the neck and nobody home. Good job. Okay, I think Margarita is starting to get the hang of this. Forcing Kateo to use more buttons and less churning. Still commanding lively from Kateo. Another Russian bear grab. Cammy saw it coming. As a reminder to anti properly. What's this? Bam! Cammy with a drive impact of her own. And she's going to be burning all the meter. Bringing extreme pain to the big man himself. All right. Kateo. Dodd. Kateo with a clutch drive impact. Zangief. Popping a level three of his own. Cammy going up on the roller coaster, but unfortunately, the landing ain't so great. Kateo is up one nothing. Punch to face, head to ground. That is the way of the Red Cyclone, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, both of them went for drive rushes, but it was Cammy who beat Zangief to the punch. Another throw. Drive rush to throw has been working a lot. Now it's drive rush into jabs. Drive rush into throw. Cammy is swarming Zangief, befitting her Killer B nickname right now. However, oh, that's good. Regular throw to the corner, and now it's time for Zangief to make it hurt. Punish, counter, EXSPD, all that damage. Big drop kick on the splat with the... Drive impact. Things turned around in a really disastrous way. An air to air kick has Kateo on set points. My goodness. The red cyclone adapting a certain shade of green, and it has been big money. Oh, no drive back for you. Just more head to ground action. But oh, chop to Nick. Head to ground. Boom. All right, so Zangief running a little bit out of drive mirrors. There won't be too many chops to the neck coming your way. Oh, there's one right there. Chop to neck. Bam. Cammy firing off, burning that level three. Is it not quite? It's not quite enough for a critical arch state, though. That's unfortunate. You definitely could have used that damage buff right there because things are disastrous. Cami and Zangief both in burnout state, but it'll be Cami who covers first. So that's good for Cami because now the deficit is greatly, greatly reduced. Another drive impact. Throw and Margarita has full resources now. Hooligan combination, sweeping Geef off his feet as he lands. Don't count Margarita out just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, flash impact. Sorry. I'm calling it. Sorry. Drive impact. Oh, we going for it? Wake up. Level three. Here we go. Bam. Look at that. Look at that damage. Beautiful form off that. Level three spinning pile driver. Jumping into Lariat, keeping it simple. And a drive impact again. Chop to Nick, hit to ground, and Kateo will be in loser's semis against Trey Star. 2 nothing. as we have our top four ready to go. Everyone sit tight. Top four is about to begin.
No, we're, it's about we're gonna have all the top four at one after another. Great job, Kateo. That was hype. I gotta show B your geef. She's gonna have a have a fit. She loves this character. Dead. Chop to neck, head to ground. Simple as that. Yo, the wake up super. What yeah. a call out. Oh, you're gonna can Joe me? That's nice. Yep. Boom. That's why he said it's your last ride. It's a he means it. It's an intimidating super too. Like the animation. I think they did a really good job with the uh, actual super animation. They did. I really like Blanca. Have you done Have you done Blanca's advanced trial? He has an advanced trial where he does his D trigger level two super, where he uh, does a link into the install, and then he'll do. Um, heavy punch into up wall, and then he'll immediately go down and then drive rush to juggle them as they're flying from the vertical. I said, I said, is he Bronca or Firebrand? What is this? He's flying. He's flying, man. He's a, he's a crackhead character, for real. Bronca's a crackhead character. His tr you have to try his trials. They are ridiculous. <laughs> Um, look for John and tell him to get up here when he can. There he is. Oh, he's coming. Awesome. So you want to, you ready to go now? Well, let's go for it. You might as well, right? <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let's get this new one underway. It's exciting, isn't it? And then, and then loser semis is uh, Traystar and um, Kateo. All right. Hey, Traystar, you'll be up after this against Kateo. All right, everybody. It is time to begin our top four of the first ever Street Fighter VI Monthly here in Richmond, Virginia. The King Returns 3. It has been one heck of a climb. Everybody and their significant other was here to try and take the first Street Fighter VI 804 championship, but now we are down to the last four. It's time for winner's finals. This is going to be first to three rather than first to two. Let's get hype, everyone. Thank you all for your patience. Without further ado, let's make this happen. Big Johnny with Ryu and Stan Man Pan with E Honda. Supposedly, there you go. With the classic championship edition colors. Ryu going with the classic white and red. Here we go. Let's get buzzing, everyone. I see you in the chat. I see you, Jinoshi. Hope you've enjoyed the show thus far. Yeah, let's, let's all make some faces. There you go. That's how they get hype. So many faces I see. And we will see who is the face of a champion as the winner of this will determine who enters grand finals on winner's side. Uh oh, ho, ho. that was actually the right call, but a little bit too far on that drive impact. Honda forced me out with a YOLO sumo smash. Stanman Pan completely decimated his opponent winner semis, just going ham with headbutts and sumo smashes. We will see if Johnny has any answers. I remember when this character first came to Street Fighter V, how John was showing you how to frame that picture with that ridiculous jump heavy punch. And scary thing is, Stanman Pan still has plenty of OD meter. He hasn't even gotten started yet. That's a big punish. 
That's gonna stink for you, my. Oh, not enough stun. That was the chance. Thankfully, he is still getting the fortress ready to fire his head off like a cannon. Ah, speaking of cannons, Ryu has something low the chamber with those DPs. No headbutt for you. Good job with the interrupts. You don't let Ryu drive or anybody drive rush in for you for free. Oh, perfect parry, and it's going to be not much damage for us. The scale and perfect parry is ridiculously not very favorable, but it stopped momentum at least. Look at this. Stamp hit Ari saying, I'm out of here. Driving pack, but not enough armor. A fireball at just the right time, and that's a counter hit. What a conversion. It's still going on. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. How will Ryu get out of this bakery? Or is he the one to be served as a pastry for E Honda's imminent victory celebration? This new Street Fighter does look very nice. EX headbutt laughing at the fireball. And Ryu says, that's nice. I got jokes too by doing a drive rush into a crouch heavy punch. I hope you're laughing at that, E Honda. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is not very good for Big Johnny because he is taking everything Honda can give him and more. What are those, says E. Honda. Those sandals are complete flames. Uh-oh. So Honda's got some stock ready. He's got the sumo spirit, which means he's got some buffs on his next bit of sumo attacks. Oh, there you go. Again with the counter hit with the sumo smash. Juggling this man like a clown. We were talking about jokes and laughing matter right now. So e Honda, more smashes, more smashes. Finally, a DP interrupt. But Ryu is in burnout, which means stuff like that could happen. Walking right into a crouch jab into Sumo Smash. Stand Man Pan is up. One, nothing. Uh oh. Once again, no, too far away. No juggle for you. Thank you. Get the punish off that Tatsu. Nobody home. Uh, nobody home there either. No worries. You still got your turn. Oh, man. John A. Falcon looking for answers. He goes for the dry rush off normals, but now he barely has any OD meter to work with. He is out. No parry for you. No drive impact for you. Just devastation. Oh, uh, yeah. Not that situation. There's a DP waiting for you there, my friend. Another DP waiting. It's getting tense right now. Careful. Keep your cool. And now it is Honda out of meter. And as such, he... Oh, but not enough. That is, though, perfectly spaced. Crouch, medium kick, and Big Johnny on the board. We may be here a lighter... We may be here a lighter while, ladies and gentlemen, because something is setting the fire in me. The competitive spirit is awake, lighting the flame. And Han looking to smother that with his big behind Ochio throw. Another headbutt. Uh, yes, there may be DPs waiting for you. Be careful. No punish there, though. All right. Ryu is in burnout state, and he needs to figure out the pattern of Stam and Pan Soom. Otherwise, this will be around in Stam Pan's favor, like there. Waking up into jabs. Stam and Pan takes that round. Uh uh. Yeah, not that time. Well, okay, dashing up and DPing, knowing exactly when Honda would make this happen. Honda wisely decided to use dry pair against those fireballs, conserve his OD meter, and again, he can't DP that. He gets the juggle and not quite the full level three, but still some damage. Oh no, don't be jumping in on Ryu like that. Not when he is buffering that Shin Shoryuken. That's big, raw, unscaled anti-air damage. However, wake up, Sumo Smash. All right, this is good. So he's taking advantage of how Ryu is in burnout state. Now he has to be a little more careful because the uh, block the block advantage has changed significantly. Oh, no, don't forget. You're in the corner. Drive impact into an overhead. Big Johnny ties it at one. Okie dokie. So now Stan Man Pan will try and adjust to the adjustments that Big Johnny made. You see right now he's kind of testing the space there with those blocked headbutts. He knows it's coming. It's just he's been unable to punch appropriately. That time, though, he got something. Sumo smash, counter hit. Getting to juggle more sumo, nobody home. However, he is 
making sure he always has a charge in case someone jumps in. It's time for him to go for a headbutt. Uh, not your turn, my friend. Ochio throw. Yeah, not that. Oh, what a autocorrect right there. Lucky break for Stan Man Pan and E Honda. Ooh, you got to be careful. Oh, no. Big Johnny lost track of where he was and got tossed as a result. Ochio throw. And again, so now Stan Man Pan making the adjustments using frame advantage to force throw pressure now. Another scary aspect of E Honda's game. Ooh, care, again, you see Big Johnny looking for that spot he needs. He still can't get the DP. The sumo smash coming to a weird trajectory. So counter hit bounce for days and days. He is in burnout state. Big Johnny's got to get out of there. Ryu is in big trouble. Oh, throw it, Chuck and Plasma. There's nobody home. Make it happen. And it still didn't happen. And it still didn't happen that time. It did stay in pan up 2 1. Main event action here at the King Returns 3. Okay, Sumo Spirit of oh, time to get the bounce. This may not be Brooklyn, this is Richmond, but you better get ready to bounce. Boom, throw number one, watch it. Uh, careful, oh, drive impact right at the spot that Hana was looking for. Got the chop and still nobody home. Ryu quickly recovers though. Stan Man Pan knows exactly where to be and where not to be. He is not getting drive impact the wall so quickly. Very smart using the drive parry. However, it's not your turn to press button because there's a yellow EX Sumo Smash waiting for you. The bane of all Street Fighter Five players. That move is still very dummy here in Street Fighter Six. Ooh, what an air to air. And Stan Man Pan feeling this may be his time. However, don't count up Big Johnny just yet. He picks his spot. He knows exactly when to sneak in that medium kick. Medium punch in the head, but it feels like Stan Penn always has something waiting in the wings to optimize whatever conversion he gets. Now it is Honda in burnout state, but that's not the right one you want to use. He's too close to the wall to use the wall. Uh, careful. Okay, he's got the, no! That was the answer, and Stan Van Pan unfortunately got hit by a bad angle in all at all angles. He didn't have enough. Okay, that time he does. So he's making sure he has the spirit he needs to start all the frame advantage pressure that he wants. There you go again. It's always waiting in the wings. Too far away, though. You can't be whiffing hands when you have somebody with a DP. Ryu already in burnout state, though. This is not good for him. Right there, right there. There's a spot, no, too far away again. That was potentially the round. And he's going right to drive impact. You don't wanna be jumping too much though. There you go, and oh no. Maybe you should've gone for the command grab. Will this be the opportunity Big Johnny was looking for? Is this what you're looking for? No, nobody home again. Nobody home, and now Han is in burnout state. Things are falling apart in the worst Pablo fashion until that happened. Called out Sumo Smash. Stan Man Pan will be in Grand Finals winner side as he advances three to one over Big Johnny. Hopefully you like my commentary for it. Look, I told John, you remember four years ago, I said Honda was stupid back then. You thought I was just being salty. Now you're seeing what I'm seeing in a different system. You, you see it now.
it is time for our next match. Trey Star and Kateo, loser semis. You already know what to expect. It could be Ryu, it could be Jury. But for Kateo, you have a feeling it's gonna be Daski repping as always. Kateo has been on a tear on the other side of the bracket. But Trey Star was able to hold things down on his end. Now we will see who truly has momentum on their side as Trey Star goes back to Ryu, puts Jury on the bench. While Kateo, it's time to show the world the power of the turquoise cyclone. As Zangief, thanks to the Soul Calibur esque face changing property of Street Fighter 6, has a stroke on stream. Here we go. Ball, no head, but for you, you got to be sure you get those punishes. Will there be a punch to face? Will there be a chop to your neck? Don't be chucking too much plasma for you at mid range, or will be a chop to your neck, and then you go on a ride that you do not want. Kateo marching, marching in right now with Dasgif. SPD number one. Oh, look at this. You see Geef. All right, very smart. If you have fireball in that situation, be sure to use your drive parry. That way you can serve your Ademir. There's a punish right there. Zangief calling for it. EX SPD. We're calling Richmond the Pepto Bismol plunge. Here we go. Sweep. And so far, Kateo has done a great job. Oh, no! Flash chop, drive impact, and another SPD. Pepto Bismol plunge. All right, this is Tristeros got his work cut out for him as Kateo and Zangief were oh too far away More more actively maybe a little bit too much hit stun for the SPD to connect you have to kind of delay it a bit to start that kind of throw game Jump in too far away knees get an uppercut perfect spot on that sweep and a big drive impact again buffered into the SPD Zangief about to sing Ryu's song. I'm gonna take you for a ride. There you go. So Wintergreen Zangief. Uh, another and finally counter drive impact. Ryu's out one of those his own. Big punch the stomach into level three. Now it is Traystar and Ryu on the board. Back and forth we go. This is definitely worthy of a top four thus far. And you always have to watch out for the mid-range between drive impact, drive parry, drive rush. We haven't seen much the way of drive rush into throws, but... At the same time, what they're doing has been working. A little bit too short on that drive impact, though. Careful. Something's coming. Some. Oh, good. Very smart. To air to air right there. Keep it still right there. Just keep the spacing back. Ryu does not want to be anywhere near Zangief. Knowing what would happen if he is mid-range or closer. He has been chopped the neck once too many times. Oh, I like this. When you're full screen, just get that install going for you. For those who do not know, Ryu can store some electric attacks as he would in v Trick 1 Street Fighter 5 in this game. So they're pressing down, down, punch, and Zangief says no, down, down on your head. Traystar still has a life lead, but it's tenuous. However, he hangs in there, fires off one more OD Hadoken. Traystar is up 1-0. Alrighty, Kateo did not make that easy for Traystar whatsoever. And even though Traystar is up one nothing, things can quickly be dropped on their head, both figuratively and literally, since it is Zangief we are talking about. And you have all seen the damage Zangief does SPD this game, and especially counter hit SPDs, because this game has counter hit throw damage like Dead or Alive. And because of that, one SPD can be all it takes to win. Oh, Geef still flexing. Thankfully, nothing worse happened. 
Yeef missed the buffer a little bit too much. The butter was turned a little bit too tight. As such, it's a big mess all over the kitchen. So now it is time for Ryu to clean up. Zangief in a burnout state. So not much mobility there. Zangief does rely very heavily on having some kind of drive, not just for EXSPD, but also for drive parry, drive rush, drive impact, the many tools he needs at mid-range to stop people from just chucking plasma at him freely. Ryu has been fully, another air to air. So great stuff from Kateo, keeping things honest, making sure that Ryu does not get any free jump ins. As a reminder, Zangief does have anti-air SPDs as well. Oh, punch to face times two. Flash chop, not gonna work because Ryu has a punch the stomach. A counter drive impact, but the link is missed. Flash chop again, still good though. Zangief now in a really bad spot as he is running dangerously low on meter. He's gonna spend it, cashing out with EX SPD. Trace in a bad spot. No anti-air for you, but Trading, crouching attacks, Kateo and Zangief hang on. Okie dokie. So Zangief once again has a full stock of drive meter, which means whatever kind of spacing Ryu wants to do, it has to be done with caution. The only way to uh, truly keep things back to quote unquote old Street Fighter, there you go, and to your SPD is to make sure Geef can't advance easily. But if you're getting called, oh no! I'm not sure what Geef threw out there, but it was not anything nice. And Ryu has something equally not nice waiting for Geef. Shin Shoryuken after the donkey kick. Life lead is about even now. Flash chop blocked too far from the wall. Flash chop and now Geef is stuck at the wall. Flash chop number three, third time's a charm. This is your last ride. Here we go, up you go. And a crash landing has tied it at one for Kateo and Das Gif. What a set, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any better than this, right? Let's see what happens. Next game is win or go home for both players. Ooh, I like the sneaky sweep right there. And now Kateo started to condition Traystar on jumping so that there is an air SPD waiting for him at every turn. Flash chop, and that's a perfect spot. Sweep. Baited again. Kateo knew exactly what Traystar wanted to do, but too short on the flash chop. And now there's a counter drive. In fact, the link is missed. Oh, no. Frustration building up right now as Kateo is on set point. Winner Green Zangief, the turquoise cyclone, another chop. Drive impact, head to ground, chop through neck, head to ground, chop through neck. Head to ground once more, EX variant. Extra strength, pepto bismol plunge. Okay, you see Trey start trying to find answers. Flash chop number three. Extra strength, maximum strength, Pepto Bismo plunge. Let's get that call and clear, sir. Boom, come back and see me in a week because it's time for you to go home. Kiteo moves forward to losers finals in a thriller 2-1 over Trey Star. Sometimes it's all you need. 
Okay, everyone, it is time for Losers Finals. This will be a first of three. Kateo and Big Johnny A. Falcon. Here we go. So, I said earlier, John's bag runs deep. Trey Star's Ryu isn't exactly like Big Johnny's Ryu. So, sometimes going from one person playing the same character to another one with the same character can actually be worse than them picking someone new. Because then you have to completely readjust their play style that you thought you adapted to with the previous character. Big Johnny is going to put on the navy blue, the Chicago Bears Ryu, against the Jackson Jill Jaguars Zangief. Here on Saturday night Street Fighter football commentary. I am your host, Howard Cassell, a.k.a. Psycho Blue. Let's get this party started and tell it like it is. Alrighty. So I said earlier that mid-range, especially mid-range walk to the corner, that's a problem. Your best bet to stop Geef, not just being lame, it's putting Geef in a situation where he cannot churn butter easily and he'll have to think about tick throws as well. He does not do particularly well on defense, especially with his lariat as altered as it is. SPD number one, bringing the pain. Here, oh, big chop right there. So that's a target combo now. That's uh, three medium punches. Oh, another SPD. Punch to face, punch to face. No punch to face that time. Ryu with that sneak crouch medium kick and there's a sweep. Wake up SPD though. I said earlier about pressuring Geef. Sometimes Geef will just churn butter and say, give me your best shot. That's exactly what Kateo did with the turquoise cyclone. Oh, no. SP nobody home as such. There's a duff and still missing the donkey kick. If one driving back won't do it, give him another one. Chop the neck, head to ground. Extra strength, regular strength, Pepto-Bismol plunge. Oh no, Ooh, nothing there. Tense right now, you can feel the intensity in the air. Oh no, still nothing. However, we're going with the level three jackhammer. Ba-boom. The level two, I should say, ladies and gentlemen. That used to be his V-trigger, and he can still go into V-trigger actions from there. But if you just uh, suck him in normally, they will eat Goldberg's finisher. Kateo goes up. One nothing. Again, that was a level two attack, not a level three. Careful. Yeah, so far, Kateo has a pretty high batting average with drive impact right there. Thankfully, it wasn't a counter hit. Uh, no, Ryu tried to get away, but got sucked anyway. The light variant of the SPD. DP. Oh, no, waiting for it. Chop the neck, head to ground. Tail as old as time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're going for it. EX, Russian bear grab. You better make sure this finishes, and it does link into Drive Rush. Once again, Drive Rush adds extra bits of hit stun that it wouldn't have otherwise. So if you want to 
add some good combos and create combos when it's otherwise. Driver's the way to go. However, chop the neck, head to ground yet again. Here we go. Chucking some plasma. All right, Falcon is low on drive meter, so he won't have too much of resources. Meanwhile, Xavier holding steady, a little bit too short though, out of chop range. That time he got it, but Ryu blocked. And now it is Ryu throwing out drive impacts, but Geef is nowhere close to the corner. No choice but to burn that bar while your drive meter regenerates, because both characters are in burnout state. So everything's going to be a little bit more advantageous on block than it would be before. Oh no, what a lucky break, and Kateo could not convert off there. It's looking tricky right now. There you go. Falcon has the meter he needs, and a sneaky crouch medium kick into drive rush. It is tied at one game apiece. Okie dokie. So we had Sneaky again. Big Johnny has done an excellent job converting every single time he gets a crouch medium kick, but now his drive meter is dangerously low. As a reminder, doing a drive rush from cancelable normals does way more meter than doing something from a drive parry, which means he has to be careful how much he uses the conversions from crouch medium kick. Petho Bismo plunge, EXDP. Whatever Zangief wanted to do, it looked like he tried to delay his descent with an air SPD. EXSPD says, That's nice, my friend, that's nice. As a reminder, air SPD was very important in sealing the last set for Kateo and Zangief. Chop. It wasn't a counter hit. As a reminder, there are two kind of counters there's counter hit and there's punish counter. Both of them will result in that crumple stun. John kind of waiting Geef out is not the worst idea if he anticipates drive impact, but at the same time, you have to worry about drive rush into SPD. I haven't really seen much drive rush from Zangief, so that may be something Kateo was waiting to pull out the last minute. Oh, too far away. That's a big punish right there. EX SPD, bop, boom, big damage, big pain, extra strength, Pepto Bismo plunge. That's bad. Oh no, this should be the round. Boom! Level two into the jackhammer. Ooh, punch to face. Punch to face. Nobody home this time. Throw. This all right. You want to be careful again because Kateo has shown that there will be a wake up SPD waiting for the opponent. Jump in. Oh, oh, good shimmy right there. Oh, but still, chop through neck, head to ground. Boom, extra strength, Pepto Bismol plunge. PBP, forget about it. Oh, and this time it is Ryu firing off drive impacts. Another one, and this time it gets the wall. Make sure this hurts. Make sure this hurts, my friend. Boom, boom. What's wrong? Get up. All right, Geef has plenty of drive meter now. No fear whatsoever, but Kateo decides to cash out with a drive impact. Another one. John has his resources back. Oh, and a wall bounce from the drive impact. Another one. It's falling apart, except there. Kateo said there's a jump coming, only for John to say no, there is not. He is now up 2-1 with Ryu. Nothing ordinary about this show, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to worry about anybody here. This is, after all, top three. This is Losers Finals here at the first Street Fighter VI Monthly here in West Virginia. Uh-oh, chopped the neck. And a head to ground. Ooh, the big knees. No conversion, though. Uh-oh. No chop the neck for you. Let's see if he gets the link this time. Okay, keep simple with drive impact. But Ryu is... Oh, no, now Geef is in burnout state. All, the very end of it, thankfully. Ooh, good job shimming. You don't want to be SP so quick. Ryu is in burnout state, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a problem. Anti-air chop. SP nobody home, but no punish. DP. Big Johnny. Big fundamentals. 
Cross Cutta and John A. Falcon is on set points here in Losers Finals. Winner of this will be facing Stan Man Pan. Will it be? Oh, there you go. Now we're doing some of our used new moves. The Tatsu Punch, the Fireball Palm. And he can charge that and add extra stun with his charge. Or he has charge now. So both the Hadoken and the uh, Hadogeki have extra stun. However, Punish Counter, now it's for you, stun. Seeing stars being put down. Uh-oh. Counter hit drive impact. Chop the neck and Ryu suddenly having trouble breathing, standing up straight. Back and forth we go. Chop, nobody home. Take the hard knockdown. And now again, sneaky crouch medium kick into drive rush. Conserve your meter, my friend, as I said earlier. Yeah, that takes a lot of meter compared to regular drive rushes. So that's exactly why Ryu's going to make it hurt. Put some extra spice. Shin Shoryuken. He'll be feeling that in the morning. Okay. And the thing is, Geef in a bad spot because now he's close to the wall. If he blocks a drive impact, he's getting he's getting put in a bad state. He's getting wall splat like it's Tekken. Chop. No counter hit. Geef running low, but Kateo knows how to make the most out of low OD situations. DP, not enough to finish it, though. However, that will. The sneaky crouch medium kick. Big Johnny survives Kateo and the turquoise cyclone Zangief. Big, big round of applause for Kateo for getting third place. All right, everyone, I have just hyped up the live crowd, but it is now time for Grand Finals. John A. Falcon and Ryu versus Stan Man Pan with E-Honda. Stan Man Pan has to hit three before Big Johnny can catch up so that he can win this tournament, but if Big Johnny hits three first, the bracket is reset. And then it's win or go home, another first to three. A part of me is rooting heavily for Stan Man Pan to take this as he has definitely earned it. At the same time, I would love to commentate more Street Fighter VI because, man, it has been a slobber knocker here in Top 4. And I'm hoping that you guys feel the same when you watch this either here live or watching it on YouTube on NYC Furby. Oh, look at that. So this has been a big change from what we saw earlier in Winners Finals. Big Johnny not giving Honda any chance to breathe using the, look at that, using the Hado charge to change the trajectory and speed and recovery of his fireballs. That way, there's not so much rear end waiting for him from the sky. There you go. Speaking of rear ends, this time Stan Man Pan correctly guessed first, got the counter hit. Chop right there. You want to mind your spacing there. All right, good. Johnny gets out. Just don't want to get driving pack in the corner. Anti-air headbutt. Very smart of John. Oh, what a trade right there. Not true invincibility. Boom. And there he goes just inside the wall spot range, but not much of a follow-up, though. Still not getting those headbutts. Very smart. Now it is 
Ryu in Burnout State, and as such, he's in Chip State. Once you're in Burnout State, you can get chipped out, ladies and gentlemen. So don't be uh, spending resources so quick. And it's also smart of Ryu to make sure he has a charge as much as possible. That way he can blow through whatever. Uh-oh, ground bounce. Will he get a juggle? No, he won't. Miss the fob again. Sumo smash gets the anti-air. Patty cake, patty cake. What you gonna do? EX smash and an Ochio throw. Oh, D, very extra spice on that. Oh, no, no one this time. Too far away for the other Ochio throw. Sumo smash. And now he is in Burnout State again. Stamman Pan takes the first game. He is two wins away from putting this tournament to a close, becoming our first ever Street Fighter 6 champion here in Richmond, Virginia. There we go, Drive Perry. But the pressure continues. Hard knockdown. Jab confirmed a headbutt, but Ryu says, no, I got DP with your name on my friend. Very smart. Very smart of Stan Man Pan to make sure he is have the headbutt ready in case Ryu tries to get that fireball charge. Very smart. Driver rush in the corner. Honda is out. And so is Ryu. Just keep going for it. Keep going for it. Where are you blocking, my friend? Where are you blocking, my friend? There is a stern I'm waiting for you. There is a tailbone waiting for you. Boom, ba, ba, boom. More tailbones to the face. All right. Don't get driving. Oh, a cross up anyway. I see you. Honda uh, still catching. This time playing Packy the other side. Big Johnny in a bad spot. You had a DP because again, you're in burnout state. And you're walking forward into an EX sumo smash. Now it is Stan Man Pan one game away from taking this tournament. Big Johnny is going deep into his bench. What's going to happen next? Is it Ryu? Will it be Guile? Who else could it be? And you see Honda flickering like he is on a really old TV. Because this looks very, very much old school right now. Ryu and Honda bringing it back to the days of yore. Ryu's coming back out of the locker room. He is definitely feeling a sort of way, but Honda, look at that. He has confidence in his eyes, as does Stan Man Pan. He's either smiling about the win, or he is laughing at my ridiculous commentary, one or the other. Ladies and gentlemen, let us see if Big Johnny has what it takes to climb out of this deficit Mana RD style. There's your DP. There's your DP. Uh-oh, we got um, Umid Johnny right now. The Bird of Prey unleashed. Very smart testing with those wake-up jabs. Got counter hit too. Ooh, safe jump. I see you. Watch it. Oh, no, you flinched, so you're going to get an easy combo. Ooh, and very smart. Remember, he knew there was a YOLO EX match coming, but now he's getting chased down. Watch it. Watch it. Boom. No, so thankfully there was no cross up there. Cross in this game is very weird. You don't see it often in the corner. Ooh, so you saw Big Johnny had that scout knew exactly what Sam Payne wanted to do when he had a sweet waiver. He may have found his reliable punish in those situations. All right, keep it simple. There you go, DP. Do not let Honda drop down. However, EX headbutt and the uh, drive impact. Honda could not take everything out. Another drive impact. Drive impact and a counter drive impact. Ba boom. Do not drop this. Sumo rush into patty cake. More patty cake. Baker's man, level three. Ryu, what are those? Those sandals are straight fire. Which is why I'm going to put that out right now. Oh, and Ryu is out of drive meter. So he could get shipped out here if he's not careful. Nobody home. Oh, no! Making it fancy there. Stan Man Pan won round the way. He is on set point of becoming our first Richmond Street Fighter Six champion here at the King Returns 3. Boom. Oh, my goodness. The juggles. Sumo Rush. Patty Cake. EX Sumo Rush. And that's not going to be enough. Here you go. Keeping it simple right now. Sit down, and more ground bouncing. Oh, drive impact that time. Not enough to juggle. Watch yourself. You saw he's getting tricky right now. 
Boom! Not enough to absorb the drive impact. Honda running low on drive meter. Ooh, very smart. Ryu busting. Now Ryu is in a burnout state. Chasing down with a headbutt, and Standman Pan is your first ever Street Fighter VI champion here at the King Returns 3. Day one ish, my friend. Day one. All right, everyone, that concludes our broadcast for the first ever Street Fighter VI tournament here in Richmond, Virginia. You'll be seeing this top four on NYC Furby in the interim. This is Psycho Blue, conductor of the hype train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag Crosswires. I will see each and every one of you next time. Later, everyone.